You're welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Of course, we are excited to be back here again. We hope you had a wonderful day. We thank you, TG Banks, for joining us. Good to have you. Yeah, thank you. You look nice. I like your white. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you to the directly now. Oh, really? <laughs> I right. think we deserve this kind of outfit, considering um, all that is going on. No, both of you look. Uh, which one? What? Oh, what? Which outfit? Yours or his? Uh, he is actually. Some people would peace. actually advocate that it is yours because <laughs> they say that it is. Some people will say that there, there have been mixed reactions with regards to yeah. the announcement of the elections. But would you say that you are excited by what we've heard so far? About what precisely? The, the elections. elections. The elections, yes. If I'm excited. Yes. I don't know, mixed mix feelings. I don't know. I, I, I'm not excited and I don't really feel bad as well. I'm just dumbfounded. All right. Mm. So concerning the elections, different people have been on different camps. I saw one of the most hilarious tweets. You know, some people said, yeah. of course, we know that the APC-led government's catchphrase for this second tenure is next level. Yeah. You know, so they are asking, are you <laughs> with team next level or are you uh, articulated or yeah. are you in Canada? And <laughs> a friend of mine said, hope we know next level of video games are always other than the previous level. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> yeah, indeed. So we're not really operating right. on that. We level. hope it's not like that. No, I no, it will not be like that for mm, us. We, yeah. we believe that. You know, of course, Article has rejected the results presented by the Independent National Electoral Commission, stating that the election was marred by violence and corruption and that there was massive rigging. He said that if he had won freely and fairly, he would have considered, you know, to President Muhammad Buhari. But seeing that he does not agree with the results that he'll be challenging them in court. Now, before the results were announced, Renu Amokri and um, Dele Momodu, Dele Momodu, Momodu had yeah. put out a tweet to say that Renu Amokri should, um, no, Atiku, Atiku should Abubakar should call, concede, concede defeat, defeat. Yeah. you know? He should call the president yeah. and say congratulations. Remember that this happened in 2015 when President Goodluck Jonathan, you know, um, lost. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. we saw President Goodluck Jonathan calling to say congratulations, but they're asking him to do the same. Now, when Reno Mokri saw that tweet, yeah. uh, you know, Reno Mokri re replied to him saying that you have Alaji Atiku Abubakar's number. If you wanted to really, um, mm -hmm. if you wanted to show your, your what's the word? Let's um, say concern. Concern, exactly. Yes. If you wanted to, to show your concern, advice. you should have called him and told him, Baba, this is what you should do, rather than yeah. putting out the tweet there. Yes. So at the end of the day, you know, there was basically, um, there was basically, there was basically um, a, a, it was sort of a back and forth yeah, on Twitter, yeah. you know, yeah. and at the end of the day, I wanted to find out what side of the divide you're on. What do you think? <laughs> uh, personally, I think Renan Mercury is right. Though, Dili Momodu, looking at what he said, it's different situations, you know. You can't compare 2015 to 2019. 2019 has a lot of anomalies that raises a lot of questions, and Atiku Abubakar former vice president, has a right to question those things. If I were in his shoes, too, I would question those things. This is not to say INEC didn't try their best, but the, the kind of situation, the kind of programming we have for INEC basically leave room for a lot of errors to happen. Personally, let me share my personal experience. I went to vote. The card reader didn't function, and mm. I was asked to register manually. They brought out the sleeve that my picture was in. I had some printed. They gave me the ballot paper. I voted. And there and there, I discovered that you could actually maneuver and play around this election if you're smart enough, if it is allowed. Mm. Because we don't have a machine that verifies thumbprints in Nigeria. Do we have a machine that will verify this thumbprint of anybody that just, someone like Esther could be working for INEC, for example, for example, and she just thumbprints claiming it's me and mm. we have nothing to verify it. That is the area where I feel the Momodu is wrong. He has an article, article of workers' number. You can, there are some things you just tell him privately. Coming out in the public to tell people about it is like you're trying to. Let, know, let's like actually look at what he said. You know, Esther, we have yes. you know, the tweet. So, Dele Momodu came out to give an explanation. Maybe you should um, share with us what he said. Okay, so actually, Dele Momodu responded saying, My dear Ren Reno, I've read your tweets. Please let me say a few things for the record. Um, I did not work for Atiku, I only volunteered like I did for Buhari. This was when Reno actually said, you have his contact because you have worked for him before. Oh, yeah. And then he said, I never interacted with his campaign office. The PDP chairman, um, Uche Sekondis, publicly rejected the results yesterday. The last time I met or spoke with the Brazilian being Atiku Abubaka was before PDP primaries, but I supported him and I still do with all my heart. My tweet was not meant for his private consumption, but for his mm. huge and passionate followers like yes, it, that's, that's, <laughs> a, that's a line there. My, like my, me. 
my tweet is not meant for him. For his consumption. So Personal telling him to call... That's contradicting. Yeah, telling him to call and concede. To that, is, that is contradicting. You're telling someone, advising somebody to call... And concede, and you're saying it's not meant for his own personal consumption alone. It's meant for his followers as well. So, it's contradictory. So let's look at the thing of subliminal messages on yeah. social media. This one wasn't even a sub; it was a direct message yeah, because he mentioned his name. Yeah. You know, do you think that it's how, how should we deal with addressing issues? Do we always have to take everything to social media? <laughs> so we saw a lot of open letters in yeah. the last administration. Open letter to this one, open letter to that yeah. one. When yeah. you can just call the person, really. You yeah. know, just like me coming on TV and saying, oh, I want to send an open letter to certain people who mm. present on Hello Nigeria. Everybody for crying out knows that. that <laughs> it is Esther, this is the one who I'm talking to. That's a TV letter. <laughs> That's a TV <laughs> letter. That's a TV letter. That's so a TV letter. How, how do we do... How, how, how should we handle issues like this? Shouldn't, shouldn't we learn what we should take away from social media? We Just, should, we should. You know, take, have conversations. It's social becoming, media is taking over our lives. It's becoming a big issue in Nigeria right now. A very, very big issue. And if we don't... Mm. So I, I think it's a personal thing. We are not all in the frenzy. No, I, I actually remember when we talked about David Doe's matter, and yeah. he actually said the same thing that, you know what, Lolo, you should have actually contacted me directly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, to express your grievances concerning what I said or did. However, Lolo said she doesn't know David O. Because in the first <laughs> response, David O said, but get my name out of your mouth. Let you me, don't know me, let me, let me so don't call my name. No, he David. said later that she and her boyfriend actually had his contact directly. Uh -huh. He had, he was speaking from two ends of this <laughs> mouth. David O will say that if he doesn't know her. But in the first response, David O said, don't call me David, you don't know me. Maybe then he turned around. Was, he was angry. Then. Maybe he was angry. Oh. Yeah, he was angry. Let, me, let me give you the new gist. Um, this lady, Lorai Keji, came on social media <laughs> and she, she was trying to tell us about how she, she hasn't met uh, the Kanu Wankos wife, wife before, Wanko. even though they are in-laws, they've not met, they are supposed mm. to be friends, but they've not met, and blah, 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 talking about their families, people should stop saying she's trying to, you know. So what happened in that story was that the, Amara Wanko apparently, allegedly called out um, Laura Ikeji's husband on social media for having used a ticket that was meant for her children, her being Amara's children, mm -hmm. you know, and Laura took it personally, uh, yeah. and there's been this sort of unspoken yeah, rivalry that, going on. That, that is so what I'm saying. even when Laura put out this tweet, people criticized her. They're like, why did you just I, I call did. Amara? And I wrote my criti criticism in capital letter. If you look at, just go and check the people <laughs> that commented. Mine was in capital letter, very bold. I use a real black bold. <laughs> because that is the issue. You know, look at the first person that started the Am I particularly fracas? <laughs> she sent the message on social media, a family issue. Then she replied on social Amara media. Amara is not even answering her the, at all. The, the thing is... Amara is busy posing nice people really and saying, oh, releasing positive energy and positive vibes. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, you know, once you're a celebrity and you're a public figure, you start thinking people really care about you. Nah. The truth is, they just people want don't gist. care. They just want gist, actually. People just want to gist and just laugh for you. People don't really care. <laughs> To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.